All right, everyone, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. My name is Raven from the Sky. Happy to have you with, with me today. Today, we'll be doing the Fight for the Future DLC. That's a part of the Legacy... That, uh, mm, that's a part of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds campaign. So, that... Though Aporia was defeated, the Divine Temple was still coming down onto the city. We have to infiltrate the Divine Temple and stop it from crashing into New Domino City. No, you mustn't. Why not? Zone, the leader of Ilaster, has shown me the feature. You say, if you enter this divine, te his divine temple, excuse me, it is foretold that you will not return. If that's what required of me to save the people of New Domino City, so be it. A sac. Oh, I done skipped him. <laughs> On the divine temple, you say, met a familiar face. I. I remember everything. Antinomy. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Is that you? What are you doing here? No, not Bruno. My name is Antinomy. My memories have returned. And now, I remember my mission. I have traveled back in time to protect Zone and his divine temple from you. This guy, wait a second. We'll, just, we'll keep it uh, story. We'll use the story deck. See how we do. But if it gets too hard, you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to whip out Exodia the Forbidden One. Or one of my advanced decks. Oh my, for once, can I win rock, paper, scissors? I think this guy uses TGs. We know what Yusei uses. His is a synchro deck built around getting Stardust Dragon out. Yeah, I was right, TGs. Man, I, oh God, I haven't seen TGs. It's been like several years. Y'all remember TGs? All my Yu-Gi-Oh enthusiasts. You know what I'm talking about. TGs is like what, 2009? Maybe even earlier than that. I think in 2010, I know. But I think they first started showing up around what, 2009 ish? A while ago. Uh, I haven't used synchros in a long time. I forgot how to open up. from your hand you can only special summon unknown synchron once so we'll be able to summon a level what four oh nothing in here we need fives and oh there's one that's level two but i guess we could but they're both tuners i don't think you can use two tuners you can change the attack target to the oh that's pretty sick You'd be surprised how many uh, monsters have low defense. Oh, let's see what that level two does. This is what he's trying. You, you got to try to get out in this deck. You say you should try to go for Stardust Dragon and build upon that Junk Destroyer. I remember that Junk Destroyer is not even in this deck. He when he's summoned, he can take out three cards. This is you know. I don't know why they wouldn't put him in this one, but oh well. We draw one card. Right, so you know what? We'll just you talk one level two monster. Oh, okay, you know what? I don't know who to. I forgot. Junk Synchron. And um, I think his name is Quick Draw Synchron. He's that Western looking one. I know those are like the two kind of iconic cards that you say has. Normal monsters, I mean, not synchros. So it says you Stardust Dragon and, and Junk Destroyer. And yes, for TGs, it was Hyper Librarian. I, I remember one time Hyper Librarian got so bad. They, 
I think they had limited him to one. I don't think he was ever banned, but he was limited to one. Because you could tie him in with counters or something. It was, dude, it, it was crazy. I think it was him. Hyper Librarian, it might have been someone else, but I'm, I'm positive it was him. I could be wrong. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in years. Cool. In real life. Of course, I kept up with it digitally. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um. Okay, you know what? Let's see if we can get a synchro going. That's what made Yusei's deck so good. He could... So you could get synchros, you know, in record speed and turn the tides of battle quick. Once we're trying, you can select one monster opponent and change the battle position. Okay, um, yeah, it's, dang it. What else? Um, oh, that's eight. Three, four, five, six. We have to summon him. Tell you what, we'll do it like this. I'm gonna try to get out Starless Dragon quick. Mm -hmm, go ahead. T I like the TGs too, cause TGs cause you can synchro like crazy. No! Shoot! Oh no, man. Oh my heaven, we are done. Unless we change that battle position, we're done. What? What? Mm. I just forgot how good TGs were, man. This is insane. Tuning. I want to sneak on Tuna Monster from your deck to your hand, then send the top. Okay. We might be able to come back. Does he have this card sent to Raya? That monster gains 800 attack. That's specifically for, for... But that's level... Dang it, man! Target one level two. And that'll be level... It'll be still five. Oh, my goodness gracious. Once per duel. Uh, so that would put him at three, four, five, six. That's still. We might be able to take this out. I can summon him. Activate. Junk Warrior.
of all level two or lower. Oh shoot. It says when your opponent activates a spell or trap. Oh my god. He's gonna negate it. <coughs> then your opponent, you can banish one TG. You have got to be kidding me. Maybe I should read the cards first before I. Mm -mm -mm. I know he's gonna. If I would have targeted this, he would have discarded. So I'll tell you what, we'll just go ahead and take his field down a bit. We might lose this one. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be using that darn TG deck. I tell you that right now. I forgot how good they were. Ooh, I forgot how good they were. Good recreationally, I wouldn't run TGs in the tournament, at least not today. You know, in today's era of Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe back then. But matter of fact, I can't remember if. But uh, do you guys know if TGs were ever top tier? We can't. You know what? We'll just go ahead and scoop. There's nothing we can do. Cause even if I were, let me see. Three, that's five. I don't think I have anything. What, shifting the defense? I don't really have anything. So we'll go ahead and scoop this. Instant Stardust Dragon. I, wait, wait, no, Stardust Dragon is what? Eight. We got six. So we'd be able to summon Junk Warrior right off the get. Let's go ahead and do that. Got called the harness, so if they destroy it, what? If there's anything, I don't think I got anything in there. Yes, I do. Oh, that's level seven, but that's not enough. Oh, I forgot. That's right. It has to be the exact level, don't it? It has to be that exact level. God dang it. Tell you what, so it doesn't get destroyed, I'll go ahead and use it. So that my synchron junk synchron and stuff. Don't get hit. I'll go ahead and just I gotta get back into the groove of this guys. Forgive me if I'm being very derpy or whatnot. What's this? Actually I should have attacked. But then again, I don't want to risk it because that's it then throw down a rush rhino and take him out. That's what I would do. I used to use that TGs on on the game. I never owned any in real life. I think I might have a few, but not a deck. But when I would make this deck in like Millennium Duels and what was that? Oh my goodness. What is what was it called? It was a website where you could duel online for free. Dual network, I think that's what it's called. I had the TGs. I will use that one too. See ya. Damn, TGs are a force to be reckoned with if you use them right. Or they get mopped. In the tournament by today's standards, but recreational play like this, oh yeah, especially if you're doing keeping the duels in the five D's era, oh yeah. Mm 
What is this? If you can control the single monster and destroy that target. So I could destroy this. How about that? Still can't. I could summon something else, but nope. What is that? Reen what? What does it say? Reinforce the truth. What did that say? If you synchro summons, I'm gonna send that darn thing. Hyper Librarian. I love how you can use this during your turn during their turn as well. See ya, you're not doing anything. Oh, that's a you say staple. I still can't. I hate how they change the rules. I remember when you, if you had, if this equaled out to like it do now, seven, you could summon a level six and, and below. Now it has to be like it's that exact number, I think. You got to be kidding me. Right, we're gonna put that in attack so we can do some battle damage to that bad boy. Best believe that. I can use it, use it on something. Let me let's see. Can summon Stardust Dragon because that's the that's the another you say staple of Stardust Dragon. Summon one. Oh my God, dude! And here comes another synchro. These TGs. Okay, that's it. If you, you beat me, we're still at 8,000. I'm gonna whip out Exodian and wipe him. That'd be interesting, too. <laughs> so, stay tuned for that online how people react to Exodia. We'll get a lot of rage quits. Probably won't even be able to complete it during. I'll be able to complete the episode, but not a duel. Probably get a lot of rage quits. People hate Exodia, but I love it. I don't care. Oh, and they took out Call of the Haunted. Oh my God. Guess what? How about that? Didn't even, oh, it's a spell trap. I thought spell trap or effect. Okay then. So we take that out. This can't do anything. I'm definitely gonna pick up some TGs and use them. I forgot how 
good they were and how zerg, 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 zerg they are. Rush Rhino. I would always open up with that. I would run three of those. Gravity Castle. Oh my! Let's try that call. Your opponent cannot summon a monster to it. Yo! Get out of town. Yo, know, with a synchro something. That's why he did it. <laughs> See ya. Oh, I'd like to bring our Stardust Dragon on this fool, but oh well. A defeat is a defeat. See, the tables can turn any time with them darn TGs. TG stands for Tech Geniuses, by the way. For those of you who are wondering what TG stands for. He's probably gonna, I'm gonna wait for him to synchro. I'm not gonna waste that effect. I know that's what he's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna destroy Scrap Iron Scarecrow, that punk. That's okay. Mm hmm. I knew you were gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste that effect on that darn catapult dragon. Ow. So we're gonna do battle of phase. I knew it. No, I don't think you're gonna do it. You're not gonna do anything but going to defense. Yep, mm hmm. That's right. Inch your turn. Prick. How about this? How about I summon on you? How about that? Oh! Uh. Oh, it's, oh, I'll just be able to bring on another one. Forget that. We can just go ahead and bring on another one for. I think I can. Let me see. If I were to do, do, is that six? Yeah, and then keep him. That's. I think that's enough. That's still game. Yeah. I think. I think it's. Junk Gardener. I ain't never seen them before, though. These Junk Gardeners. I seen Junk Warrior, Junk Synchron, Junk Destroyer. Junk Destroyer is sick. He would take out, what, I think, two or three cards when he would was Synchron Summon. I think he got restricted to one, two one time. I, I don't, I don't know. I think. Hope we don't have battle fear in his hand. Yeah, that's game. You okay, Bruno? I am, my friend. But my time is at an end. You say, I used to believe that destiny was written in stone, but you have always surpassed the impossible. Defeat zone to save news Domino City and the future. Goodbye. Reverse duel. Antonami. TG Wonder. Antonami Detect Genius. Uh Alibur Cannon. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna stop it here. Thank you for joining for this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. If you like this episode, drop a like to subscribe to the channel and the series grow. My name is Raven from the Sky. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one.